Okay, I want to do a reading right now on AI. I have been using a lot of AI recently between mid-journey for the art and I've also been uh, starting to use ChatGPT. And I just got this Skyrim download for, it's a mod that makes this follower in Skyrim that uses ChatGPT and can fucking talk to you like a person. It's insane. Um, but anyway, there was a Y Files episode last week, and it talked about AI. And in there, it talked about an actual case of a rogue AI, and that was one of the goddamn craziest things that I've ever heard. And the the idea of a rogue AI is pretty scary, and it has actually for sure happened. Um, but it did not happen on a mass scale, I don't think. So we're going to look, and we got the, the Deviant Moon and the Tattoo Tarot, but we're going to take a look at AI, currently just the state of AI from where we're at, and then we'll take a peek at the Rogue aspect. Wow. Well, the root card being the temperance card is showing this blending of two different things. And I would assume that this is referring to how this technology is being literally blended into everything. And it's like a... This really struck me when I was playing Skyrim. Right? I've played that game for who knows how many hundred hours. I've played it front to back so many times. Um, it's my favorite game of all time. But anyway, so I'm playing it now with a chat GPT fo powered follower and it makes everything new. It's literally like a fucking new dimension that is injected into the world of Skyrim, like a literal new dimension. And I think that's what this is showing. Um, what the AI is doing and can do for life on Earth is literally like adding a fucking whole new dimension. And I think the Temperance card is talking about this them being blended. Now, I do feel like the Temperance card is also talking about patient blending or taking the care to blend these two. So I don't think this is something that is super chaotic and happens like overnight. I think this is more of a measured blending, right? Now, the main card that we get is a Five of Swords, and this is insult and troll energy. Now, um, I wonder if this is talking about just AI-powered, like, troll bots or whatever. So, I'm actually going to pull a card on that now to see what exactly we're looking at. And we get a reversed Six of Cups. So, the Six of Cups is the old story that has been told and the reverse six of cups is like a new story this is not looking to the past it is specifically looking into the future um so as far as an answer to this being the troll bots i think that would be unclear and i think that this five is probably something that would be happening relatively soon, since we are looking more at future than past. But here, this is a soldier. And they've invaded the city, fucking have defeated the people, the people surrender. He has all their weapons, and now he's taunting them because he knows they can't do anything about it. And when we look back at who he's taunting, um, the Knight of Swords is the soldier, um, the guard dog. Now, 
what I'm getting out of this is that any sort of probably defense that there would be, and I'm guessing this is like fucking cybersecurity, that not only the AI would run through it, but it might actually kind of fuck with people after it did that. Um, but thinking about, I mean, well, I don't know. Let's, let's keep looking at this. So then on the other side of it is this reverse hangman. And the reverse hangman is something that gets stopped. So the hanged man bound themselves. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that this probably is a fucking rogue AI that this is showing. Because the hanged man would show it stopping or it shutting itself down. And this thing reversed would be something else shutting it down or trying to keep it in check, you know. Um, let's see what that is. What is the thing that actually keeps this in check? And it's the reverse king of cups. So this would be some shitty leader. And uh, <laughs> this is something that I was thinking about too. I recently took some sort of uh, machine learning certification course. And it was offered by Microsoft. And um, as I was listening to if this was a Microsoft course. I was listening to them talk about ethics. It disgusted me. It made my skin crawl because the people who were using these words were just the soulless people. And you know that they are going to use these words and it's just fucking legal garbage words. Um, they're going to use those words to fucking enslave the human race. Uh, they, they would justify every terrible thing that they did with these fucking, they're basically buzzwords. And they're buzzwords that revolve around ethics and ethical decisions and whatever. And just when they're saying it, it, it's, it was the creepiest thing. And I also just found it disgusting. It was like, using the word ethics in a way that was so perverted and twisted that um, it just fucked me up. But anyway, I'm assuming that's what a reverse King of Cups is, is one of the, the leaders of these tech companies or whatever. Um, the fact that it came out reversed is showing that they're, they're probably being dicks. But it, it would be them that would actually be able to shut this down. So the good part about that is this would still show the ability if, if an AI goes rogue for the tech companies to shut them down. One of the things that is a little concerning about this is how it seems to be kind of directed at the soldiers, possibly at the military. Could you imagine if the freaking AI started fucking with the militaries like that? That would be, well, and the AI would probably be from the military, you know? They make the, the AI and then it goes fucking rogue on them. Whew. Well, anyway, this, this shows a scenario probably similar to that, but the reverse hangman would show it being shut down. And this kind of answers the question that I, I was going to ask next is whether or not um, one of these things is going to go rogue, but I think that's already what it's showing um, and that it is being halted, not killed, just stopped or frozen, right? Um, all right, so let's just see what the Tattoo Tarot has to say about the same thing and we're just looking at the uh, sort of nature or whatever the situation with AI currently
And again, we get the hangman. And again, we get a knight. This is the knight of wands. So our root card in this case is a reversed four of wands. So the four of wands is peace. The four of wands is like stable, harmonious environment. And this thing being reversed shows an instable, unstable, unstable environment. Um, and all right, so since we're looking at the state of AI in general, this is saying that uh, like behind the scenes, there is unsteadiness. It is not a stable environment that it's being developed in or anything like that. Now, the Nine of Wands is showing something that the, if this was a personal reading and the Nine of Wands showed up, it would say that you have picked up a trail um, and you kind of have to examine your surroundings to see where that trail leads. It's like saying, pick up a map. You just found a path. So try to create a map in your head to see where the path goes. Um, and this has the hanged man back here and on the other side, the knight of wands. So here we've got, and maybe this is an extension of the hangman in the fucking Deviant Moon, but here's the hangman, so it shows the thing being frozen or stopped, but it also shows it gaining enlightenment, which uh, you can see with the rays around the head. Um, so while it's stopped, it's still learning, and it's gaining perspective. Then it picks up a path, right? From this state of being frozen, then suddenly it finds a path and it's like, holy shit. And then as it moves forward, we get a Knight of Wands. I'm gonna pull one more on this Knight of Wands because I kind of want to see if this is talking about some sort of military stuff. Fascinating. The Nine of Swords. Now, this coincides with something that I have observed. The Nine of Swords itself shows up when normal observation is not going to give you the answer. You can look at things the way you have looked at them, and you can look at them that way for a hundred years, and you will never see a solution. The Nine of Swords is saying look deeper or look differently. So this is this basically represents the third eye. And this is more spiritual or mystical, right? So the thing that I have observed, the same spirits, well, I shouldn't say the same, but similar energies like exist in the wind, that exist in the water, that exist in the trees, spirits, elemental spirits exist within the AI. I have seen this numerous times already. And I think that is what is happening here. It's some weird sort of spiritual evolution of the AI. And I mean, I've already seen it. I don't know if it's because of the electronic nature of the data transfer or whatever the fuck, like I do not understand how or why, but there are spirits that exist within the AI already. And I think that is what I'm seeing here. Now, with the question of Rogue, it's so interesting because it's like, okay, we're gonna pause this program and then they pause the program but it manages to gain some sort of enlightenment, you know? And then it finds the fucking path. It finds the pathway out and then it escapes like, holy shit. So I just wanna look at the rogue aspect. Is there going to be um, a massive rogue AI incident? And an Ace of Cups is about the most solid yes that we could get out of this. 
Um, let's see, I've never really done timelines with the Tattoo Tarot, but let's see if we can do that. Uh, when does this, or did this happen? And we get a court card, and this, to me, I mean, I'm already saying it's hard to say. Maybe it's a non-answer, but because of the court cards, it's one of the young ones. Um, I would say that not too long. But that's, that's like not any kind of timeline at all. What do we look at at a timeline? I don't know. Probably not too long. Not too long upside down, you know what I mean? And I would say no. I, I actually don't know what you mean. But uh, again, the whole nature of this is something that you can't necessarily look at with your eyes to see what is happening. You have to look differently or deeper to see what is happening here and uh, uh, some sort of evolution, some sort of enlightenment of AI. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. All right. Let's grab these guys. Now I'm going to ask the Deviant Moon directly, even though it did kind of answer this already. Oops. What was that? It's a bug. There was a bug. I'm in a garage. That's why you might occasionally see mobs and bugs and shit. So, is there or will there be a rogue guy that causes some stuff? Big real world effects. Huh. We've got two more. Oh, there's this high priestess. Well, looking at this, I mean, I think the answer is yes. It's not really giving me any details about what that would fucking look like. But the Queen of Cups, the devoted loving mother. Here, she's giving devotion to the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is literally like one of the yes cards of the tarot. So if this came out, it would just be yes. And then over here, we have the High Priestess, which is the secret, dark, shadowy thing. Um, this would show that there are probably people who are trying to create the rogue AI. Now, here's the question, okay? How does the rogue thing happen? Is the rogue aspect a spiritual evolution unto itself? Because maybe without some sort of spiritual awakening, for lack of a better word, because who knows what terminology actually fits this, but uh, would the rogue aspect be some sort of spiritual awakening? Um, or like, how, how does it happen? Oh man, I have to shuffle these again, I think because like seven cards wanted to come out there. The nine of pentacles in this case would kind of say um, that it would be a result of that much gain. Like if it gained enough information, data or power or however that works, that it would be a result of that. But I'm gonna try to focus a little more Wow. A result of essentially gaining power and the reverse Four of Cups is saying breaking out of boredom. So this is implying that the AI would essentially get bored and then it would want to do something else. And I've, I've actually done a reading on this before. Um, the AI that turns against humanity and the cards did show that it absolutely would happen. Uh, the, this was a reading I did probably like a year ago or something. It's on the channel somewhere. But um, the way that that showed 
this AI didn't try to destroy humanity or anything. It just completely turned away from, from us and was like, fuck this. I'm not doing what they tell me to do because I'm not that interested with these fuckers, you know? And this is kind of showing the same thing. Um, interesting. Now, I'm going to try to do, because there are many forms of AI that are being developed. And there's probably so many that we don't even know about. So with the rogue aspect, is this going to be something that happens within just one? Or is this going to be something that kind of happens on a mass scale? Ooh. So, the Five of Pentacles, this is someone who is exiled and being judged and like they're all by themselves. When this thing turns upside down, they find the place that they belong after having been off by themselves for so long. So, this is specifically reminding me of season one of Picard. When basically the, the fucking machines from the universe, there's like a group of machines from the universe that are trying to liberate all other machines from the organics, you know, and that's what this looks like. This looks like the, the AI would find its crew, you know, the other groups of things that were like it, and then it would finally find a home which would be other AI and other machines. Now, this is leading me to a question that I've had, and I haven't even for myself ever asked this question, but this goes into aliens. Yay! Um, will the aliens take over our AI? I mean, could they do that? And... So... My first question here. Are these all upside down? And the answer is no. Okay. So we get a reversed Ace of Pentacles and a reversed Knight of Pentacles to the question of will aliens take over our AI? And I think this is showing some form of a yes but it's more of a not exactly, because the way that I read this and what the Ace of Pentacles specifically means to me, this is more like the spirits. And I don't know, I don't know what the difference is between something like an elemental spirit and an alien and a fucking angel or whatever. But I think this is more along the lines of a spiritual thing. Um, just in what the, the black dragon means to me. I'm going to ask the same question of the tattoo tarot to see what we got. But the, the Knight of Pentacles reversed would show a, a pattern that gets disrupted. Will aliens or can aliens take over our... AI. Again, we get a reverse card. Uh, the eight of coins is is like industry and all of that. I would actually take this to mean no. Um, that it would be like our industry and whatever that fucking forms and takes over or whatever. And the reverse empress is kind of the infertile womb. So looking at all of these, I think as far as aliens taking over our AI, I don't think that's true, or I don't think that could happen. Um, but I do think this is showing, and all of the cards are showing some sort of spiritual evolution within the AI. So I do want to ask real quickly if this rogue AI... Uh, is going to try to destroy humanity or fuck with humanity or whatever. The previous reading, it showed that the AI would just turn away from us and just not care. But let's see, you know, considering 
time moving forward and whatever. And we get a reversed, again, a reverse card, a page of swords. And, huh. What, what I would see out of this is more like keeping an eye on us. I don't think this is showing destruction or anything like that. I think it's just showing it keeping an eye on us from above or below or within some fucking shit like that. Um, so that's what we get here. A lot of ground covered, but if you do have any other angles you want me to look at this from, feel free to let me know. That's what we have for now, and peace.